Okay, so today I'm gonna attempt to replace the screen on a ZUK2 phone. So, unfortunate accident, just dropped this and the screen just completely shattered on there. Now, this will have to be done in a couple of parts. So the actual phone's working fine, you know, it still works, still responsive. Uh, but the only thing is the screen's broken. Now, I've seen the screens on eBay going for something like five pounds or six pounds coming from China. So I'm gonna initially try and take the screen off and then order the screen separately. So let's give this a go. So let me turn it off. So if I sign in, hold on and power off. Now let's initially take the cover off. Okay, and it may just come off. There's loads of little shards of glass. So I've not attempted one of these sort of things before. But thought I'd give it a go this time. Okay, so the phone's powered off and I've got a knife here. I'm gonna gently try and pry some of the screen off. Some of it's coming off here as it is. If I just be careful and just slowly just take it off, it's just falling, crumbling apart. Let me work my way down this. Hopefully remove the whole lot, the whole glass layer off there first. Okay, so I've managed to get the actual glass panel off. So it looks like I'll have to do a complete screen replacement on there. Obviously that is sort of stuck on to the back of that. So I managed to prise it off with a knife. So it'll have to be a complete disassembly of this. And it looks like some of this may have ripped as well, looking at it. So, yeah, so complete re replacement. Okay, so we're on the back of the actual phone. We've got our replacement screen here with the connectors just there. So we're gonna attempt to take some of the components off this now. So, let me zoom in a bit. Okay. We'll begin there. So we're gonna take these screws off. Go for this one. Okay, that's popped out. That one's popped out just by doing that. Another one here. One way of getting them to pop out, you can't get to them. And then hopefully finally this one. There you go, that's out. The battery disconnect that as well. Disconnected that. The actual connector on there. Okay, so there's one more screw hidden just behind here. Okay, so we had a small sticker just there and that was holding that one in. So let me get the screwdriver and take that one out next. Okay. There you 
reader. That's the actual connectors for the screen. So in theory I should be able to just pop these off like this. Okay. Two connectors are off and the screen just moves away like so. Take that one out. That seems to be quite tough. Yep, there you go, that's out nearly. Okay, so I might need to take the battery out for this one because it seems to be in the way slightly. push this a little bit out. There you go, it's come out. So now, see like so. So two points on here, on the new screen. So if I feed them through relevant points here, come through. So if I now take the actual screwdriver, I might be able to pull this one up. There you go. That's come up. If I keep pushing that through, hopefully there's a connector. There you go. Okay, so let's get the screen actually clipped back on. So there's two connectors there, like I've shown. Push that one, that's clipped on. And then that one there. Okay, there you go. Screen's clipped back on now from the angle. And now what we'll do next, we'll just put the cover back on, like so. So let me get the screws and put them back on. So hold it in place there. sat in place properly. Let me release it again. Okay, it's just a clip over here. Make sure that sits in place. Okay. There's one obviously just here. I 
And then the final one, like so. Okay, let's put the battery connector back on, which is just there. So obviously that clips on from here. Make sure that's clipped on correctly. Yeah, I can hear it clip in. And then we get the sort of retaining clip just there and push that on. And there's a tiny little screw that sits in place. Let me get that in position. Okay, so all the screws in place. Okay, so the screen's now connected to the phone. I move it over. So what we're gonna do, we're just gonna power it on, hold on to the power button here. There you go, it's starting up. Now, what I've discovered, there's a fault with the actual screen itself. I have been in touch with the manufacturer to let them know and see if I can get a replacement. But at least this video shows you how to sort of disassemble your phone and connect the screen up. So at least you can get that far. So I hope it's helped anyone attempting to do a similar thing. Thanks for viewing and don't forget to like and subscribe.